joining us today at America's uh, Spaceport. You know, we really have some pretty exciting days here at the Kennedy Space Center, but today is uh, uh, m even more exciting than normal because we know when we see this aircraft here, we know we're getting really close to uh, launch day. Hey, hello. Uh, thanks for, uh, for being here for the opportunity to, to um, say a few remarks. I mean, this is... Uh, this is getting real. It's uh, it's five days to launch. Uh, we're going to space very soon, and uh, it's very emotional for me that this uh, final stretch to the launch pad has started with the landing uh, here on this runaway. For those guys, it's kind of normal. They do it all the time. <laughs> but for me, it was like as we were coming in, I'm like, I'm landing on the space shuttle landing facility, which for a girl like me who grew up in the 80s, I was a child in the 80s watching you know space shuttle, the initial space shuttle flights. Uh, those men and women uh, going to space on a regular basis, that's what got me excited about space. So that was uh, very special uh, for me. Um, I'd like to join my uh, fantastic crewmates in expressing my um, deep sentiment of uh, gratitude for all the NASA and SpaceX teams that have brought us uh, to this point. Uh, but really, especially, I would also like to express my thanks to, to ESA, to my, to my colleagues, to the teams at the European uh, Space Agency for the opportunity of, uh, of flying on, uh, on this mission. Uh, and a big word of thank you also to my country, Italy. I'm an ESA astronaut of Italian nationality, and if I have this opportunity of flying to space in a few days, it's also thanks to the long-standing commitment of uh, Italy to ESA and to the partnership with NASA. As it was mentioned today, not only through the um, you know missions to the ISS, but in the not so distant future, also with uh, missions beyond low Earth orbit, we, we got this opportunity of watching uh, SLS on the launch pad with uh, Orion and the European service module standing on top of it. Really, really exciting to get to ISS and uh, get down to work with this fantastic crew and the uh, three cosmonauts who will be part of our expedition, uh, who are our, um, dear colleagues and friends uh, who are waiting for us uh, up there already. Thank you so much. Uh, fans community um, might remember that on my first space flight I had a, um, a replica of a uniform from a TV show called Star Trek Voyager. So I will just say that I may or may not have a replica of a costume from another science fiction show. <laughs> we didn't know about this. <laughs> that depend on gravity, I would count a shower among those. So just like I did last time, I plan to take a very long, luxurious shower on that last day before launch. Specifically for um, Samantha, um, I'm curious: Are there any scientific experiments that are carrying over from the previous, or from the the previous two European expeditions that have been ongoing for the last year that you'll be taking over? And and then for you and for Jessica, what are the experiments you're looking forward to performing the most while you're up there? Thank you. Yes, thank you for the for the question. Uh, definitely, uh, I, I would say probably the bulk of uh, the scientific program will be a continuation of uh, what is being going on. Um, as as I'm sure you're aware, uh, science, especially when we talk about science that is like human physiology, so you're actually studying the human subject. You need a number of years to uh, conclude those experiments because you need a certain number of uh, of subjects. So, for example, I am continuing an experiment that's called uh, Nutris, uh, which is about how um, uh, certain ways of uh, monitoring and, and maybe also intervening in the nutrition of astronauts on board can help in maintaining a, a healthy um, um, uh, body mass and, and body fat versus uh, muscle. Uh, I'm also continuing an experiment which is called acoustic diagnostics, which is uh, more about the influence on the um, uh, earring function, but uh, that is uh, also acquiring more and more a component that looks at the intracranial pressure, which is uh, something that we have been uh, looking at with a number of experiments over the years. Um, so yeah, and, and, and of course, uh, many, many more. I don't, I don't think we have time to go into uh, much more detail, so I will leave uh, the floor to Wadi. 
I just want to say thank you all again for coming out today to help us to welcome the uh, crew here at the Kennedy Space Center. You heard how excited they are for launch. I can tell you how excited we are um, here at the historic uh, uh, Kennedy Space Center to be able to uh, launch them. So we're praying for good weather. Go crew, go freedom. Thank you.